हेलो व्यूअर्स आई एम मिस्टर दिलीप कुमार पाल स्टैंड्स बिफोर यू विथ ए टॉपिक नोन आज इंडियन मॉडल ऑफ डेवलपमेंट ऑफ पॉलिसी मेकिंग इंडियन मॉडल ऑफ डेवलपमेंट ऑफ पॉलिसी मेकिंग व्हिच इज फाउंड इन डीएससी टू ऑफ फिफ्थ सेमिस्टर एंड द नेम ऑफ द पेपर इज डेवलपमेंट प्रोसेस एंड सोशियल मूवमेंट्स इन कॉन्टेम्पररी इंडिया इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस इंडियन मॉडल ऑफ डेवलपमेंट ऑफ पॉलिसी मेकिंग इंडियन मॉडल ऑफ डेवलपमेंट ऑफ पॉलिसी मेकिंग सो फार एज इंडियन मॉडल ऑफ डेवलपमेंट ऑफ पॉलिसी मेकिंग इज कंसर्न विल डिस्कस मेनली टू एस्पेक्ट ऑफ इट वन इज द मीनिंग ऑफ इंडियन मॉडल ऑफ डेवलपमेंट ऑफ पॉलिसी मेकिंग एंड नंबर टू फेजेस रिलेटिंग टू इट इन हुई टाइम इट हैज बीन चेंज हियर विल डिस्कस फोर स्टेजेस फ्रॉम नाइनटीन फिफ्टीज टू नाइन सिक्सटी स्टेज टू फ्रॉम नाइन सेवेंटी टू नाइनटीन एटी फाइव स्टेज थ्री फ्रॉम नाइनटीन एटी फाइव टू नाइनटी देन लास्ट वन नाइनटीन नाइनटी वन ऑन वर्ड्स एंड आई रिक्वेस्ट माई फ्यूअर्स टू वॉच दिस व्हाइट व्हाइट बोर्ड अटेंटिवली सो दैट यू कैन राइट डाउन नोट्स और इफ यू लिसन मी अटेंटिवली ऑल्सो यू कैन राइट डाउन नोट्स एगेन आई वॉन्ट टू इन्फॉर्म माई व्यूअर्स दैट इन माई चैनल videos of plus 2 first year to plus 2 second year plus 3 first semester to fifth semester including environmental studies most of the topics are discussed in my channel i request my viewers to subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed so that you will be the you will get the benefits or those of your friends who are reading in plus 2 first year to plus 2 second year Plus three, first semester to fifth semester, make them aware about this channel, so that at least some students will be benefited, and a little help to anybody is a great help to human kind. Let us start. What is the meaning of Indian model of development of policy making? Indian model of development of policy making what it means world is a changing world so every country will have to change with the changing world otherwise the development of a country will be stand still it means it will remain as it is so as the world is changing so every country will have to change with the change in the world otherwise its development will be stand still or where it will be its development will be stagnant so on the basis of changing situation in the world a country will have to change its policies so indian policies have been changed from time to time this policy the policy which india had in 1950 now a different type of policy india has it is known as development of indian policy making so development of indian policy making indian model of development of policy making means as the world is changing as the time is changing so every country will have to change its policies otherwise a country cannot adjust so in india also policies are changed from time to time the type of policy which india had in 1950 now a different policy india has so on the basis of changing time on the basis of ruling times 
India is also changing its policy. India is also developing its policy. This is known as Indian model of development of policy making. Now discuss in which stages Indian policies have been changed. We will divide these stages into four parts. Stage 1 from 1950s to 1960. It means from 1950 to the end of 1960 what policy India had. Then stage 2 from 1900 stage 2 from 1970 to 1985 what policy India had. Then from 1985 to 1990 what policy India has stage 3 and stage 4 1991 onwards what policy India had. So now we will discuss from 1950 to the end of 1960 Indian policy Indian policies were based on which principles? This is the stage one. In the stage one, from 1952 to, to the end of 1960, Indian foreign policy is based on some Indian policies have been based on some principles. Number one, self-reliance. In this stage, self-reliance was given priority without depending on imports. Steps were taken to manufacture everything in India from consumer goods to capital goods along with heavy machinery. So, the first principle of the policy of India from 1950 to the end of 1960, the first principle was that it gave priority to self-reliance. Indian policy, Indian policies were based on the principle of self-reliance. Indian policies believed to make India self-reliant from consumer goods to capital goods. And imports were discouraged. So, from the first principle on which Indian foreign Indian policies were based was it gave priority to self lands Indian policies were made in such a manner that efforts were made to make India self-sufficiency or self-reliant in every sphere from consumer goods to capital goods. The second principle on which Indian policies were based was Soviet model of development. Indian policymakers were following the Soviet model of development in general and Grigory Feldman idea in particular. So during that time to make India to make Indian development quicker to make development quicker in India Indian policymakers were following the Soviet model. In Soviet model capital goods production of capital goods were given priority in place of consumer goods because capital goods is a mean to produce more goods. Capital goods will not produce any goods. It is a mean to produce other goods. So, India was following the Soviet model on the basis of which priority was given to capital goods. Capital goods sector which is not an end in itself rather a mean to produce other goods. So, second principle of the Indian policies was that it was following Soviet model in general and Grigory Feldman model in particular. Number three, central economic plan. At the time, priority was given to make plan for the country from the center. That is why a planning commission was set up on the chairmanship of Prime Minister. 
So the third principle on which Indian policy policies were based was that it believed on central economic planning. That to make plan from center was given priority. Planning for entire country from planning from for entire country was made from center. For this planning commission was formed under the leadership of prime minister, under the chairmanship of prime minister. So these were the three important principles on which Indian policies were based. The fourth one is no importance to trade. At the time, a priority was given to self-sufficiency. So trade was not given importance. Either import or export were not given importance. Rather, at the time, there were restrictions on import and export. There were restrictions on import and export known as QR, quantitative restrictions. So at the time, trade was not given much importance because the motto was to make country self-sufficiency. Fifth one is, fifth one is, Reflection on reflection of social socialist ideals. Reflection of socialistic ideals. At the time, in the Indian policies, there were reflections of socialist ideals. Like socialist ideals were given priority, like generation of employment through cottage industries, reduction of monopoly and concentration of economic power. Reduction of monopoly and reduction of concentration of monopoly and concentration of economic power, price control and regional balance. At the time, Indian policies were giving priority to socialistic ideas. At the time, priorities were given to price control, priority was given to maintain regional balance. Steps were taken not to allow concentration of economic power, not to allow monopoly, then generation of employment through cottage industries. Then sixth one is focus on social sectors. There are three sectors, public sectors, private sectors, sectors and social sectors. At the time, stresses were given to social sectors. Social sectors means stresses were given for the development of People, which is non-profit in nature. Priority is priority was given to social sectors, main development of people, like education, health, eradication of poverty, which are non-profit in nature. At the time, priority was given to social sectors. Because there are three sectors: public sectors, private sectors, and social sectors. Social sector is the non-profit sectors where there will be investment for the development of people, but it will give no profit. So these were the main principles of Indian policies. But after 1970, it changes were observed in the Indian policies. What changes were observed? Priority to economic and strategic self lands. After 1970, a change was observed in the policies of India. The first change was priority to economic and strategic reliance. After suffering from food shortage in 1966 and withdrawal of food aid by USA on the basis of the scheme PL 480 and and so priority was given to economic self-reliance. In 1966, there was severe food shortage in India and America declared not to give food aid to India on the basis of PL 480 scheme. So Indian leaders gave priority to economic self-sufficiency. Then they gave priority to strategic self-reliance. In the war with Pakistan in 1965 and in war with China in 1962, there was shortage of weapons. So, priority was 
given to make India self-reliance strategically. So, after in the second phase from 1970 to 1985, importance were given to economic self-reliance and strategic self-reliance. Number two, mixed economy. At the time, importance or priority was given to both public sectors and the private sectors. It means both public sectors and private sectors were encouraged to involve in the Indian economy. Number three, encouraged to private capitalists. Private capitalists were encouraged to invest money in different fields. Many sectors were open for them. Another change was encouraged to private capitalists. Another change after 1970 was that private capitalists were encouraged to make investment. Previously, they were not allowed. Fourth one is introduction of Fera and MRTP to control multinational companies. Fera Foreign Exchange Regulation Act was passed and to control concentration of economy power, MRTP, monopolies and restrictive trade practices was passed. So, to control multinational companies, FERA was passed and to control monopoly of economy power, MRTP, it was passed. The acts were passed. Then the fifth one is self-sufficiency in food grains. At the time, Steps were taken to make India self-sufficient in food grains. Food grains. So these were the principles from 1907 to 1985. In the third stage, from 1985 to 1990, again there were some changes in, in Indian policies. The first change was to adopt advanced technologies from foreign country. At the time, Indian policymakers so interest to adopt advanced technologies from adva advanced technologies from foreign countries. Number two, liberalization in export and import. At the time, liberalization import and export was encouraged. This was in the third stage from 1985-1990. But after 1991 onwards, some new principles were found in Indian policies. Like Formulation of promulgation of part value added tax was started in the value added tax part tax will be added with the price. So after 1991, one type of tax was started in India and the tax was added with the price. Number two, implement Uruguay decision on 20th September 1986 on 20th September 1986 there was a conference in Uruguay in the conference it was decided to abolish trade barriers to link national economy with the world economy so Indian policymakers also decided to execute decisions of Uruguay conferences so after 1991, it was decided to make trade free from restrictions, to invite foreign capitalists to the country for investment, and to make Indian economy open for all. Number three, privatization of public sectors and disinvestment from public sectors were emphasized. After 1991, those public sectors were running in loss. It was decided to give the public sector to private sectors. Again, those public sectors were running in loss. Government decided to withdraw its share from public sectors and give some share to private parties. Then, number four, reforms in financial sectors. Out of 1921, reforms were made in the financial sectors like Private banks and private insurance companies were allowed to operate. 
और प्राइवेट बैंक एंड प्राइवेट नेशनल इंश्योरेंस कंपनी अलाउड टू ऑपरेट एंड ओपन ब्रांचेस नंबर टू टू प्रोटेक्ट इन्वेस्टर्स टू प्रोटेक्ट इन्वेस्टर्स एंड टू कंट्रोल स्टॉक एक्सचेंज सेपी सिक्योरिटीज एंड एक्सचेंज बोर्ड ऑफ इंडिया वॉज फॉर्म सो इन दिस वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड हाउ इंडियन पॉलिसीज हैव बीन डेवलप्ड एंड हाउ दे हैव डेवलप्ड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड फोर स्टेजेस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डिस्कस what is the meaning of development of indian policies how indian policies have been changed from time to time and in which year they have changed from 1950 to the end of 1960 there were some principles of indian policy then from 1970 to 1985 there were some other principles of in indian policies then From 1985 to 90, 1985 to 1990, there were some other principles of Indian Indian policies. Then after 1990, 1991, there were some other principles of Indian policies. Thank you, viewers. I want that you should watch this video attentively and give your comment. Thank you. Have a good day.